In this video, I'm going to go over how to add and configure a price table to your pages. So we're going to add an element here. I'm going to search for price. There it is. I'm going to hit, I'm just going to select it here. As you can see, it created a single price column. So I'm going to go through how to edit the column here. So the title is this thing right here. So I could do standard package, for example. Then this is the price. So let's make it $19.99 a month. There we are. So next up here, we can set this as featured. So if I hit yes, you can see that the this element has slightly raised up and the background is now the site's primary color. So this is a good way if you wanna advertise like this is the best value or this is the package most customers choose. So I'm gonna set this to no for now. The text color, if I set it to light, you can see that now the background is uh, dark and there's light text. I'll switch it back to dark here. We can also manually change the background color of the price table. So you can see as I drag this around, price table's background changes. So if I wanna make this uh, bright red, I can if I so desire. I can set the corner radius here. It's a little hard to see in the video, but as I drag this, this corner here becomes more round. So as I drag this here, you can see the corner's a little more round. I usually, usually go to around 20. Looks pretty good. Then the depth, I can set it here so you can see as I increase the depth, the shadow behind it gets a lot larger. You can see if I change the hover depth here, as I move my mouse cursor over it, the shadow appears. So it looks like it's raising off the page whenever I take interest into it. Then I can target this specific box with the CSS class if you're familiar with it, so you can customize it further. We can set the visibility here so we can make it only show up on desktop, only show up on mobile, only show up on tablet. Uh, really depends on how we want to do it. Make sure that all people on all devices have the best experience. So what I hit, once I hit apply here, you can see that that price table's there. If I drop in, here's all the bullet items. So once I drill into a bullet item here, I already set up some things here, but this text is this right here. I can change this. So this is like a feature of the package. This is uh, something that this specific package offers. So I typed in standard support here. Then I also typed in a tooltip here. So that's like a 24 hour response, email only, um, just a further description of what that feature actually is. And whenever a client hovers over this little question mark on the website, a little tooltip will appear beside their mouse cursor, just like it would if you're in Windows or Mac OS and you hover over a button you don't know what it does, it, uh, it'll pop up next to the mouse cursor. And then this enabled checkbox right here, you can see I have it set to yes, so it's standard. But if I hit no, you can see it actually grays it out and strikes, puts a strike through, through that line. So this is a great marketing tool to show like this package does not offer this. You'll have to upgrade to another package to do that. So that's a really good feature. So that's one price table here. So what I can do here is if I want to add a couple more price tables, I can actually make this column a little bit smaller here. So I'll make this column four wide. And now that that's done, I'll collapse this just to make it easier. So once I have the price table collapsed here, I can hit add to row. It'll automatically create a column here that's four wide because it knows that I have the other one four wide. So I most likely want that. So here's all of our column settings. Uh, there's not much that I need to tweak in here. Um, if you're if you want to learn more about columns and rows, we do have a video on that. I suggest you check that out. I'll link it down in the description below. In fact, so you can click right through to it. So then once we're done with that, we can expand this column. We can hit add to column. Now we can add another price table element. So here are two price tables. Now this allows your customers to compare and contrast things. So let's make this the deluxe package. And the deluxe package should be, let's do it $29.99 a month. Now I can make, uh, make this the featured item, say like the deluxe package is the way to go. The deluxe package is the way the customers like it. I can make the radius just to match the other one. I'll make this 20, just so we follow a consistent design. And then these options here, I'm going to leave them blank, but I did explain them earlier. This is where you can target it with CSS. This is where you can change different effects, uh, different visibility for different uh, viewing devices. So I just did a little bit of work on this price table here. Um, it only took me a couple minutes, but just so you didn't have to watch me do all the nitty gritty here. So I have a 
pretty good three price table set up here. This is what it would look like on your website. So I'm actually going to back out of the editor here. Now you can see whenever I hover over, I get these nice little tooltips here. So this explains what each package can support. And these are really powerful. These are really great, um, really great marketing tools. Upfront pricing is a really great thing, especially if you're able to offer it. Um, and this is a great way to present it to all your clients. If you have any questions, go ahead and let us know. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.